and deriving the equation y equals mx for a line through the origin and the equation y equals mx plus b for a line intersecting the vertical axis at b. These are the same equation, one line, they're, they're both equations for lines. So if they have an x and a y, so if you put a number in for x and then you multiply and then sometimes add, you get the y. And then if you plot all of these points and draw a line between them, you have a straight line. Uh, they're both basically the same. You can see y equals mx is the same. And then plus b uh, just means that uh, the line crosses the y-axis at b, uh, whereas the first line crosses at the origin, which is 0. So if you plus 0 to anything, you get um, nothing. It doesn't change anything. So this is basically the same thing. So we're going to go through the same thing twice. Right? Uh, so first, so uh, is this a straight line? So before we create the equation, we have to know it's a straight line. And you don't necessarily have to memorize this, but it's good to know. So here's a line. It looks straight. However, in math, we don't assume things. We need to know we need to be able to prove it. So one way to prove this is to draw these slope triangles. So start at a point, go up and over following the grid. And so each point is what we call a good point. It's on the grid and on the line. Okay. So if we take a point and we go up the grid and then over the grid, up the grid and then over the grid, each of these slope triangles, as we call them, go up one and over three. So we call that a slope of one over three. It has a rise of one and a run of three. And the reason we go up first and then over is because if we want to know if something uh, has a steeper slope or a less steep slope, we can look at the numbers and the bigger number would be steeper. Right? And that includes positive or negative slopes. So if the slope was going down, if it was going down at one third, that would be a negative slope, negative one over three. That would be the same relative slope. Uh, but if I compared that to a slope going down at two over three, that one would be going down faster. And a line here going up at two over three would be going up faster. So the numbers are important. But anyhow, uh, finding the slope is important, so we can derive the equation y equals mx plus b. So we have that line with our points on there. We can put the points into a table. So 0, 0, 3, 1, 6, 2, 9, 3. Uh, and we see as the y increases by 1, then the x increases by 3. We can see that in our drawing, in our slope triangles. We can also see it in the table. As y goes up by 1, x goes up by 3. y goes up by 1, x goes up by 3. And so we have the slope of 1 over 3. Well, that means if I pick a number for x, 3, for example, and I multiply by 1 third, 3 times 1 third gives me 1. And it works for any of these numbers. 6 times 1 third is 2. 3 times 1 third is 3. It even works for the 0. 0 times 1 third is still 0. So my equation then can be if I have if I have an x and a y, then y is equal to m times x, which we call the slope. So the y is equal to 1 third times x. That's what I was just doing. If I pick a 3, multiplied by one-third, I get the y. And so we call that the equation for the line. And it's really nice because we can pick a spot like in between. So this, if I go over one, then I would go up one times one-third, which is just one-third. If I go over two, I multiply that by one-third, so two times one-third is two-thirds. So we can see we start at zero, zero, we go to one, one-third, 
2, 2 thirds, and then 3, 3 thirds. So the equation not only gets us the nice good points that we can uh, find by looking at the graph, but it also gives us all of the points in between. Okay. So deriving the equation y equals mx plus b, we still do the same basic thing. Right? We start with, uh, we can put the points into our table, and we can see as y goes up by 2, x goes up by 3. Right? And we can see that with our slope triangles as well. The y goes up by 2, the x goes up by 3. We can even see it with these points. So as 1 goes to 3, that's adding 2. And as 3 goes to 6, that's adding 3. So that's this point and this point goes up by 2 and up by 3. So our slope is 2 over 3. But if I pick a number for x and then I multiply it by 2 thirds, I do not get the y. 3 times 2 thirds would be 6 thirds, which would be 2. 6 times 2 thirds would be 12 thirds, which is 4. So we're not getting the answer the way we did on that nice proportional line. But I do notice if I subtract 1, then I do get this. So 0 times 2 thirds minus 1 is 1. 3 times 2 thirds is 6 over 3, which is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 6 times 2 thirds is 12 over 3, which is 4 minus 1 is 3. So if I multiply the x times 2 thirds and subtract 1, then I get the y. And I notice that's this point right here where the line crosses the y-axis at negative 1. So if I multiply by 2 thirds and then add a negative 1, I get the y. So these lines can be written as the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is a slope and b is a y-intercept. So y, these numbers, is equal to the slope 2 thirds times the x number minus 1. So in summary, if we have the equation y equals 2x plus 2, uh, we can derive it from the line by finding the starting point 2 and using the slope to put here. Right? So the equations for straight lines are written in the form y equals mx plus b. And y equals mx plus b. And so the line can be thought of as starting at b, our 2. And from there, it rises and runs according to the slope. So it's going up 2 and over 1. So that's a slope of 2. Uh, so to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, we replace m with the slope, which is 2 over 1, or just 2, uh, and replace b with the y-intercept, which is, in this case, also 2. And we are finished.